Hey, River Church, how y'all doing today? Uh, my name is Billy, and I'm going to be leading guys through today's devotional. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you all uh, who were able to come yesterday to help set up the building. Um, man, uh, as you know, we are opening up uh, our church services again this upcoming Sunday, and we had to get the, the, the space ready. And so we had about, I don't know, 20, 25 people show up yesterday. And we were, we were able to transform the whole, uh, the whole room, the whole space, uh, just to get us ready for this weekend. So I was super pumped. Uh, I kept on talking about it to Lise uh, when, when we got home. And I was just really excited. I was, it was a huge answered prayer. Um, I really, really, really was praying that, you know, we just had a great... Uh, just a great attitude, a, a, a desire to work hard. And man, everybody that came was like working hard and like, uh, it was just really cool. So thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, we're going to be opening up our services again uh, this Sunday at 11. So uh, man, we'd love to see you guys. We'd love to see you guys there. Um, for today's devotional, uh, I know I've been talking about love a lot and, you know, how, 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 uh, to love, but, but, and, and I want to continue on that theme, but I, I realized that I, I, I haven't really given a good example as to how we can do that. Uh, and so today I want to talk to us, we're going to be talking about uh, Genesis uh, chapter, the first few chapters of Genesis. Um, and then I want to talk about love, right? Uh, but before we do that, though, I, I want to, I want to uh, share with you guys a story where I was not, I was not very loving. Um, <clears throat> so last Friday night, uh, m me and my, my family, we decided to have a pizza night. And uh, I love, I love, I love pizza night. I love, it was pizza night and movie night. So we we're going to eat pizza, watch a movie and just get to hang out as a family. And so um, I'm on a particular diet right now where I can't eat certain foods. And uh, so my wife was going to, we we're going to get pizza. My wife was going to make a pizza for me. And then I was going to pick up pizza for the kids. And so I, I know my wife was going to cook for me. And so I said, Hey, sweetheart, um, is there anything that you need me to get? Because, uh, I know that I know you're going to cook for me today. And I just want you to know, or I just wanted, wanted to know if there was anything that you, you needed me to get uh, from the store, make a grocery run or something like that. And she's like, no, I think we're good. I think we're good. I said, okay. So, uh, she starts preparing the pizza. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to time this out. I'm going to go to Little Caesars. Uh, so by the time I get back, the pizza that she's cooking will be out the oven and will be ready to go. Like I had a plan, like it was going to happen. And then uh, I'm getting, so I'm, I'm at Little Caesars and I'm getting, uh, ordering, they're hot and ready. I mean, those come out really quickly. And I'm ordering her pizza. And then she calls me and she said, hey, sweetheart, uh, the pepperonis are bad. Um, they're spoiled. I'm going to need you to run to the store and get some more. And I was like, <laughs> I was so, I was like, what happened? <laughs> I was, uh, I was really frustrated and I, you know, it's such a little thing, but I was, I mean, everything was like, I had a plan. It was, everything was going according to plan. And then that one little bump in the road and I was just frustrated. And so, and then I'm thinking to myself, like, uh, you know, it's just, it was just frustrating. And I was, I was like, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Are we doing? So uh, I want to get back to the rest of this story uh, in just a bit, but I want to talk to you about Genesis, right? Um, and it's, it's kind of a storyline that we see throughout the whole Bible. Um, and so God creates uh, in the beginning, right? God creates everything. God creates Adam and Eve, right? And one of the things that, uh, one of the things that we see in his relationship with Adam and Eve in the garden is there's this charge from, from Adam to, to love the Lord and to love, uh, love Eve and, and take care of, of the place that he's been uh, placed into. Um, and there, there's just this very outward approach to life for Adam, right? This is still when things are perfect, there's no sin in the world, right? There's this outward approach to the way that God orients Adam, right? He fixes them in this way, right? Outward 
uh, towards creation, trying to make other things better, trying to, 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 to love Eve well, right? Love the Lord, right? Love the Lord, do these things. Um, <clears throat> and then, uh, and then, you know, then he eats the fruit and, and, and in that moment, you know, he's not loving the Lord, he's loving himself. And so in this selfishness, um, this, this, this desire that God has for us to love him and to love us, others is completely compromised, right? If we look at uh, moving on into the story of the Bible, we look into the, uh, the Ten Commandments. You know, there, there are Ten Commandments. Uh, the first three are about God, and uh, the last seven are relational, right? Uh, first three are about God. How can I love God? Well, and then the last seven are like this horizontal, right? Don't steal, don't covet, don't don't commit adultery. Like these these horizontal uh, relational commands. Okay, if we look at Jesus's, uh, when they asked him, Jesus, what are what are the what are the best what is the best commandment? What does Jesus say? He says, I give you a new commandment: love the Lord with all your heart, mind, and soul, and love your neighbor as yourself. Right, love the Lord, love outward. It's just this constant theme that we're seeing throughout Scripture. Like that's what the Lord has designed for us. That's the way that the Lord wants us to operate: to love Him, to love others. And so, uh, going back to my story, uh, I did not want to love the Lord, and I did not want to love others uh, in that moment. And <clears throat> you know, it was really ugly, and I. And I had to sit there and, you know, my wife, I love my wife. My wife is awesome. She's a beast, you know, she's eight months pregnant and I'm here complaining that the pepperonis are bad. Like surprise. She's not like yelling at me, telling me to get my own, make my own pizza. She's, she's, she's a beast. Um, um, but <clears throat> you know, so I had to really, I had to really think like, man, my, my wife is doing all these things for me. So in in this moment, and this is this is how I want to encourage us today. In this moment, when I wanted to be selfish, when I wanted to be about me, when I wanted to demand that I'm right and demand that 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 someone has done me wrong, I really had to pause and take a step back and like, man, this isn't the gospel, right? This isn't what the Lord has called me to. And so uh, I really had to think, okay, what can I do? Uh, and so. I, I left Little Caesars. I went to H-E-B to pick up the pepperoni. Uh, I came back home and my wife was here at the house. And, you know, I decided I'm just going to thank her. You know, I'm really, ups I'm really just bothered by this. It's really, really dumb, but I was really bothered by it. But you know what? I'm just going to thank my wife. Like sweet. And so I came home and I was like, sweetheart, um, thank you for cooking for me. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, you don't have to do this and you're, you're eight months pregnant and things are crazy. Uh, but you did this for me. And I'm just, I'm really thankful that, that you, you, you feed us and you do all that stuff. Uh, you take care of the family the way that you do. It's just awesome. Um, and so I, I really had to, I really had to, to, to be intentional of, of, of thinking of a way to love my wife well, right? Thinking of a way to serve the Lord well and thinking of a way uh, to love my wife well in that moment and by God's grace like um, that was able to happen and so I want to encourage you guys in that way um, maybe maybe you get upset about a conversation that you had or or maybe that you're in the right and someone else is in the wrong or maybe you have an angle to play on somebody for something that they have done whether it be at work or or just whatever relationally speaking and what I want to encourage you guys to do today is to, when those moments happen and when you want to uh, look inside of yourself and look to yourself for satisfaction, man, really, really look to the Lord and, and really think, how can I, how can I love the Lord well? How can I love this other person well? And you know, one, one of the ways, and, and, and this is what I did, which, which helped me, uh, was just give the person a compliment. Just say something nice to them, right? Sweetheart, that was really sweet of you. Uh, for cooking for me. I know you, you're busy today and I just thank you for that. And the strangest thing happened to me as I did this, and hopefully it happens to you too, is as, as you start to be appreciative and be thankful, um, your attitude starts to change and you start to really genuinely um, um, 
feel that way about the person. And, and before I knew it, like I was super happy and like, I didn't, I was like, okay, I was being dumb earlier. Uh, but it was just a huge blessing from the Lord um, just to change my heart and to change my attitude in that moment. So hopefully, hopefully this video encourages you guys. Uh, hopefully we're able to look at the good uh, compliment people, love people well in that way. Um, yeah, just again, just a reminder, uh, before we, before I, I sign off here, uh, I just looking forward to seeing you guys this, this Sunday. Uh, remember we're, we're opening our doors back up, uh, at 11 AM on Sunday. Um, there'll be a certain way to move through the building and, and it should all be mapped out. So when you get there, uh, it should, you just follow where we're leading you and everything will be great. Uh, Pastor Randy's excited to see you. Uh, I know he's been getting his message ready for the Sunday and we love you guys and we can't wait to see you guys.